Hello everybody, it is Kusiga here, and welcome back to more Captain Morgane in the Golden Turtle. Yes, yes, your favorite pirate captain. More adventures on her way to great fame and fortune and wealth. And I don't know. But if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe for more. Check out the past episodes if you haven't to catch up on what's going on. And the comments are always welcome. So I was kept I was trying different things and it was the one thing that I didn't try before. Or I thought I tried it, but maybe I didn't. I think I tried it on the other door though. I was taking the pistol and shooting the this. Shooting it, but yeah. <laughs> there we go. This is definitely the map room. I can see them through the window. Part of the window is broken. That and then. I can reach the latch, but I'm not strong enough to open it. Ratso, on, what are you doing here? Uh, the Capitan sent me to check on your progress. I'm doing fine. I thought you said you were Capitan. I'm acting Captain. My father said I needed to take on more responsibility. I'm really second mate. Ah. Let's see, okay, is he gonna help As you're me? here, you can help me with this. The latch seems jammed. That's breaking and entering. We'll end up in jail. <laughs> I'm not convinced this is a good idea at all. Our client is testing us. He wants to get back something that the governor confiscated from him illegally. Ha! <laughs> I wouldn't even call him governor. I never did like that guy. I bet Carlo would do it in a shot. Maybe I should have asked him rather than you. <laughs> Carlo is too dumb to know better. <laughs> if you help me with this, I'll reward your loyalty with a bonus. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking my kind of language. I'm sorry, Capitan, but I'm still not convinced. The reward isn't worth the risk. Hmm. If I want to act like a captain, I have to find the right words to persuade Ratz. As okay. you're here, you can help me Gotta with this. That's right breaking an intonation. I'm not convinced of talking to You sound afraid. Are you a pirate or a mouse? I don't like cheese, and this feels too much like a trap. <laughs> you signed on to my crew. Do you want me to give a direct order? Uh, you don't seem that kind of person. You're right. And that's why I'm giving you the choice rather than an order. Hillary Simpkins would have you doing far worse. <laughs> For sure. And that's why I didn't sign up with his <laughs> ship. I'm sorry, Captain. But I'm still not convinced. Okay. Hmm. If failing. I want to act like a failing, I'm failing. As you're here. You can help me with this? That's breaking and entering. I'm not convinced. Try again. One more time. Our client is testing us. Ha! <laughs> Look, we'll only go to jail if we're caught. That's a risk I don't want to take. If you help me with this, I'll reward. Ah. I'm sorry, Cap. Hmm. If Confused. I have something I could give him? I don't know. Well, no, I gave him a sword before. If I have Carlos come Weird over. idea. It's like putting a bull in a china shop. <laughs> okay. I don't know. As you're here, 
You that's breaking an int. I'm not. Let's try again. Uh... You sound different. I don't like cheap. I bet Carlo would Oops. do it in it. <laughs> Hillary Simpkin. <laughs> For sure. I'm sorry, Captain. Hmm. Huh? As you're here, you can help me with this. The la that's breaking. I'm not. Our client is testing us. <laughs> you signed on to my crew. Uh, You're right. I Hillary Simpkins would have. <laughs> For sure. I'm sorry, Captain. Hmm. If I. Hmm. Hmm. Razzo is a new recruit. As you're here, you can help me. That's breaking an enter. I'm not convinced. Our client is testing us. He was ah. that one. I yeah, I don't know. Maybe Look, that one. We'll only go to. That's a risk I don't want. If you help me with this. Uh, I'm sorry, Captain. Hmm. If I want. As you're here. That's breaking and I'm not co Our client is testing us. Ha. Did I which one did I do? I bet Carlo would ha. I don't remember now. Hillary Simpkins would <laughs> for sure. I'm sorry, Captain. Hmm. As you're here. That's breaking and I'm not co our client is testing. Ha. You signed on. Uh, You're right. Uh, if you help me with this. Uh, all right. You convinced me. I'll help oh, you out. It took? Okay. But once the windows open, I'm off back to the ship. Very well. Just get the window open quickly. All that. Mm. Just trying to over overcomplicate it. This dresser is heaped with trinkets. It needs a good. I'll sort out the mess another time. Figure in who's that? Maybe it would be better to avoid touching anything apart from what I. Hmm. What a strange looking figurine. Cylon prototype is written on its plate. Wait, that's not the right map. There's no receipt number on this one. I won't take it unless I'm sure this is the map I'm looking for. Oh, it's not letting me... use it on that. I won't take it. This is a very beautiful chest. The lock is really... The chest is locked. I can't... Unless there's a... Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Galactica Captain's Log. I've never heard of these books. Okay. I don't have time for reading. See the different maps. That's what I wasn't sure Wait, if there was. That's not the right map. Wait, 
That's not the right map. Wait, that's not. Then have here. These ones, yeah. Wait, that's not the right map. No. I have to do an action on that. I won't take it. Oh, maybe I can, uh... Perhaps I can pick the lock with the small... Ah, the bone broke. But at least the lock is open. I'm not sure which is the map I need. There are several maps in the chest. Hmm, I'm not... Okay, maybe that's it then. There we Perfect. go. Perfect. This is Briscoe's map. All these maps are just to throw you off and confuse you, apparently. So we can get out of there now. Before anyone catches us. Go see Briscoe. Is that like Mayor from the future or something? Maybe this is like, I don't know, could be present time and they're just stuck in Let's see, boop boop boop. Just map with him. Here is the map you wanted. Excellent news! I must admit that I didn't think you'd actually do it. The map is important to the whole venture. And now, you will charter our ship. Well, I'm still unsure about chartering a ship that belongs to a woman. This ship actually belongs to my father, Captain Alessandro Castillo. Why didn't you say so to begin with? Your father has a fine reputation, and I'll happily charter his ship. So, what is the nature of this charter? We are to embark on a quest to find the legendary Golden Turtle, for which I will pay handsomely. Golden Turtle. Here we go. Thank you. My father will be pleased. I shall meet you at the ship shortly. The real adventure. Excuse me, senorita. Begin. Yes, Tasco? Forgive me, but I overheard you say you were Alessandro's daughter. Uh-oh. Is that important? Oh, yes. I have news of Uncle Eduardo. Who? What? Tell me more, quickly! Uncle Eduardo was recently seen on Crab Island. If this is a joke, you won't live to regret telling it. It's true, I swear. Crab Island! Crab Island? After all these years, it seems I have the chance to find them again. There was something I remembered happening before, but... Never happened. Oh, chapter three already? The Trail of the Golden Turtle. I've got some good news, Father. Excellent. I knew you'd make me proud. I found two new crew members, and they reported to Diego. Yes, I saw them. I hope they perform better than they look. <laughs> I think it would be impossible not to. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Although you've uh, done well, I wanted you to find me three men. I'm working on recruiting the third one. Wait, what? The I did find three. Will not be complete until you do. Well, I'm confused. I found a wealthy merchant who wants to charter the ship, Thomas Briscoe. Ah, yes. I have heard of him. What cargo does he want us to transport? There is no cargo. Briscoe wants to charter the ship to search for the Golden Turtle. Morgay, no. This will be a fool's <laughs> errand. Men have been chasing that fantasy forever. But if his money's good? 
I could still become a laughing stock. That will never happen, Captain. I have some great news, Papa. Uncle Eduardo may still be alive. It will just be another rumor. Pay no attention. The landlord of the inn told me himself. An innkeeper's fancy. I have been hearing such tales since he was first lost at sea. Don't get your hopes up over nothing. But... <sighs> yes, father. I'm a little disappointed, Morgan. Why, Papa? You gave me the responsibility, and I did what I thought was best. For a start, you should never take notice of idle gossip. But the job you found for us... I said it was a mistake, Captain. Chasing around the seas with a crazy merchant is a stupid idea. <laughs> I may be a little crazy, but anyone who sails the seas has to be that way. My wife, of course, thinks I'm completely crazy, but I like to think of myself as eccentric. You, I take it, are Thomas Briscoe. And I'm pleased to make your acquaintance, Captain Castillo. My fine children are now in a position to run my business, and I have time to spare for this quest. And the gold? It's a down payment, to show that my intentions are of the highest order. The uh, golden turtle is real, and when we find it together, we shall become famous. Morgaine, I'm sorry for being so harsh. This may well be a profitable trip after all. Thank you, Papa. I'm gonna take him hostage or, or throw him overboard or something after taking the gold. Excellent! When do we set sail? On the next tide. Morgaine, you found this charter. So I'm going to let you continue as acting captain. Oh, Papa! I won't let you down. That's no worries, Captain. Diego, have a little faith, will you? Now, ready the ship for the journey. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, I thought you were just going to walk through with his head. Mm, what are we doing now? I don't know. Dr. Cap. Papa. Papa. Yes, Morgan. Thank you for letting me prove myself. As long as you realize that this is a serious matter. Yes, Papa. I know that the sea is a dangerous place. Then conduct this quest as if you were the captain of the Winsome Maid. I will only interfere if the ship or the crew are in danger. You can come to me at any time for advice, but the less you do, the more highly I will think of your captaincy. Oh, okay. Funny meant the less I did. Nice. Senior Briscoe? I work, but he meant the less he do to come to him. Yes, uh, Captain? What is the first course of action in our quest? That is why we needed the map. I'm sure that clues to the whereabouts of the Golden Turtle will be found on Hollow Island. Hollow Island? Is it hollow? What's the name on the top of the map? Bucklebury Tanner is the man who drew up the map. Why is the navigation line between the two islands so twisty? No sailor would take a ship along a course like that. I have no idea why it would be that way. I may be a seafaring merchant, but I'm no navigator. What connection do you think there is on Hollow Island? That is what we must find out. This will be a voyage of discovery for all of us. Do you know anything about this man, Tanner? 
I managed to find out a little. He used to be a great explorer, apparently, and he once lived on Crab Island. That's it? Well, I said it was a little. It... Are you sure you're not wasting your money? Crab Island. That's on the way to Hollow Island. That's where the uncle was spotted. The what of it? We should stop off there first. We should find out as much as we can about Tanner. I'm sure that's completely unnecessary. I'm sure that Hollow Island has the answers we need. Of course, it's your time and money. But we know so little about what we're looking for. As a businessman, I'm sure you'd want to know everything you could before making a deal. You're absolutely right. I was being too hasty. It does make more sense to visit Crab Island first. <laughs> you have a fine daughter, Castillo. Thank you, Senor Brisco. Now we've settled our destination. If you find Diego, he'll show you your cabin. I have a feeling that Uncle Eduardo was supposed to have been sighted on Crab Island. Yeah, we told you that. I'm sure I, um, I, I should attend to my captain duties. I'm not stupid, Morgaine. If I find that you're searching for Uncle Eduardo at the expense of Briscoe's quest, I'll be angry. Yes, <laughs> Papa. Now, go and captain the ship and make me a proud father. All right, let's go captain the ship. Status report! All stations! Captain we'll go up to the main deck. Where do you want to go? Let's sail away. Okay. Crab Island. And uh, I said Hollow Island, I guess, maybe? Because not like we can't go anywhere, or we can go anywhere else, so. Thought we'd do something on the ship itself. Hey, is that, um, what's her name? Chick, the star of So Blonde. Razzo? Yes, Capitan. Do you have any idea where we should be? It's the middle of the night. We ain't got many options. <laughs> you ask me, we should wait till morning. Tell me what you did before joining our crew, Razzo. Ain't not a lot to tell, ma'am. I work a lot of cargo ships since I was a boy. It's all I know. I'm pretty good in the rigging, me being small like. Is this your first pirate ship? Aye, Capitan. And I ain't no cutthroat, me. I know you're friends with Carlo, but was I wise to take him on? He ain't no beauty, that's for sure. And he's pretty dumb, <laughs> but he'll work all day he will. Uh. Whatever you think of us, we will never let you down, Capitan. You do know that I'm only acting captain. Of course, but it doesn't matter. Protocols got to be observed. Get her. What a dumb looking blonde. I don't know what it is, but I have a complete aversion to those with more beauty than brains. Even Carlo doesn't fall into that category. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Captain Morgane from the Winsome Maid. I'm, uh, uh, Sonia Bond. Yeah, that's it. I know it's dark, and maybe I shouldn't say so, but you look an awful lot like a woman. That's because I am a woman, fool. I don't understand. How does a stupid woman get to be a captain? <laughs> oh, oh. Can we just ask you some questions? Of course. Say, are you a woman too? If you are, you sure are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Just answer our questions. 
I'm looking for information about a man called Tanner. Sorry, what was that? I, like, drifted away for a moment. Wow. Wow. Do you <laughs> okay. know anything about Tanner? Do I look like I'm rich? I have no money at all. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Tanner is slang for sixpence. She don't know nothing. Do you know anything about Uncle Eduardo? Did you ever meet my Uncle Tremaine? He's a great guy. He once bought me a whole new wardrobe for the summer season. But I don't know why. I didn't have any new clothes to put in it. Like Uncle Eduardo? Not at the game. So blunt. I heard that he was fond of inns. Why not try asking him there? End of inns. Sure. Why are you standing around the dockside late at night? My father sent me here for a long stand. I've been here ages, and I've not found one yet. Tell your father that he'll find one in the place he keeps his elbow grease. Wow! You're so helpful! <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was... that was... something. The inn is called the Buckleberry. That's very encouraging. Ah. Uh, wasn't it Buckleberry Tanner? It's Did too it high to reach. Something there. It's like, like a trap door. I want to look at this. Though. I can't see anything. The nearby lamp hasn't been lit. It's too dark to do any. There's everything. Where'd all my stuff go, boy? I was gonna use the that um cloth to wipe it. Oh wait. Mm. The docks are bigger than one could think at first sight. The winsome maid is already docked. The, the docks are thing. bigger than one could yep. Okay. Oh, there's the lamp. I can't take it with me. It's big. I didn't want to take it with me. I just want to turn it on. I think the lamp is out of order. Get oil, I guess. Anything else? Nope. Good evening, miss. Captain, if you will. Uh, it's getting very late. We're going to be closing soon. I hope my business doesn't take too long then. These matches? You want them? You can have them all if you like. Just one box will do. Some idiot convinced me to have them made up, but no one would buy them. Now I'm having to give them away. I thought I was clicking on her. <laughs> I was wondering why it was like a hand symbol. Eh, perhaps she'll start a new trend. Hello, my name's Morgan. Good evening, and welcome to the Buckleberry. I'm Anita, the owner. Why is the inn called the Buckleberry? It's named after Buckleberry Tanner. Hmm. Have you been here long? More than 20 years, but I've been running it on my own for the past six. 
Your husband ran away. He accidentally killed a guard captain, but the guard said it was murder. Guess it's a good reason to run away. What can you tell me about Buckleberry Tanner? He was a great explorer who settled on Crab Island before my time. He was buried over in the graveyard of the Ancients. Ancients. Tell me more. He must have been highly thought of because a memorial statue was erected over the grave. Interesting. Can you tell me where the graveyard is? <laughs> I'm useless with directions, honey. If you had a map of the island, I could show you where it is. I'll try to find one. Yeah. I heard that Uncle Eduardo was seen on this island. He stayed right here in the inn for weeks. How long ago was he here? He only left in the last couple of days, but I don't know exactly when. I see Captain was in here looking for him about the same time. Short, mean-looking guy. Hmm. Interesting. This is great news. Thank you. Excuse me for saying, darling, but you look familiar. Who are you? I told you. Morgaine. Morgaine Castillo. Ah, that makes sense. You must be Alessandro's daughter. You know my father. I knew him many years ago, before he got married. Oh. Tell him there'll be a warm welcome here any time he cares to drop in. I, I'm sure he wouldn't be interested. <laughs> Um, yep. I just... think this is a man. It's a bit difficult to make out any detail. Hello, I'm Captain Morgaine. Good evening. What's your name? I am afraid that I tell no one my name. It sounds like you have something to hide. Everyone has something to hide. Some of us more than others. Uh -huh. Or you could just be crazy enough to murder us in our beds? <laughs> Perhaps that's something you'll never discover. What can you tell me about Buckleberry Tanner? Some say that he meddled with things he shouldn't have. Like the Golden Turtle. You know about the turtle? The only time people ask about Tanner is when they're looking for the golden turtle. <laughs> I will say nothing more on the matter. Why don't you show your face? It is best for all concerned if I keep it hidden. Don't tell me. You've been known to scare children? I've been known to scare wolves. Have you seen Uncle Eduardo? There's little that passes me by unnoticed. He was here in the inn for weeks. Did something happen to him? He suddenly left with a mean-looking captain I know nothing about. So he left with the captain, okay. Thought maybe he left because he knew the captain was here looking for him. What do you know about Anita? She's a good woman, that one. Who else would put up with my strange ways <laughs> if things were different? But let me say this. It would be best if Alessandro doesn't come near. My father doesn't take kindly to threats. But you don't want it any more than I. Do you know where to find the Graveyard of the Ancients? I never venture from the town. I have no idea where it may be. What else can we look at? Anything? Modern picture. How strange. The painter has used a real hairpin in the picture. Can I take it, maybe? I can't remove the hairpin. It's held in place by the paint. Oh, darn. Anything else up 
upstairs. Oh, okay, I can go upstairs. Go upstairs. Explore upstairs and then that'll probably be the end of the episode after. Oh, okay, I thought it was gonna move to a different screen. Jackpot machine. Hmm. Jackpot machine. I think it's some kind of gambling device. The instructions say that if I put a doubloon in the slot, I get a chance to win a prize. Perhaps I can get one from Papa. Why do I get the feeling that this is just the start of a long, slippery slope? <laughs> I have no doubloon. Let's see, is that everything then? Doesn't really help me because there's things I can. Oh, wait. I guess it's only showing me up top. With... So that's the only thing up top you can interact with. That it is. You know who that is. And who those are. <laughs> Dang. I had to get away with that. Let's see. Oh, the trap door. Like, those look like trap doors, too. So it's like, Let me I guess. Know. It must be the stage door. Or a fire exit, maybe? Unless I need to leave this place unnoticed, I should use the main door. Okay. That it? Yeah. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, we're gonna keep going then. For a little bit at least. Did I? Oh yeah, I got matches so I can see the map now. That's what I can do. to put some fuel in the lamp before I can light it. Oh. Where am I gonna get fuel? Maybe the pair? No. See if I can ask him about the graveyard. Or... Yes, Captain. Oh no. Nope. Be fun. Hello, Sonia. Do I know you? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, we've been friends for years. <laughs> uh, good. Some people like to take advantage of me, you know. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Do you know where I can find the graveyard of the ancients? No. Graveyards give me the creeps. You'd think they could find a better place to bury dead bodies. <laughs> oh my. Oh. Okay. I am by. I don't know. <laughs> Unless I go on the ship and get um fuel, I don't Where know. Where do you want to go? Let's go on board and see. Hmm. Open the drawer. There's nothing inside. How do you know you didn't open it? Maybe the shoe. I'd rather leave it here. Okay. I read them all several. This is the little mouse running up there. <laughs> I 
I have no reason to enter Briscoe's cabin. This could be interpreted in an embarrassing way. Oh no, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> Maybe there's something in there I can use. Think so. The, the last time I touched it, it took me two days. It's gotta be somewhere out in the the on the island then. Where do you want to go? something in there. Unless I can get more. You want them? Just one box will do. Nope, I can't get more. Anita? Yes. Uh, more. About that. What on earth is that machine over there? Uh, uh, some crackpot inventor thought it would be a great way to make some money. I don't think it will catch on myself. <laughs> That's it? Okay. Never mind now. Talk to him. Excuse me. Yes. Someone must have put fireflies in these thin, twisted bamboo tubes. That's clever. Okay. I can't take that. There are some matchboxes and each one has the int's name. Before I recruit that third dude. Oh, he wanted a gold earring. That's what it was. I forgot about that. Show it to her though. That was the only thing upstairs, right? Let's double check. If it is. combinations <laughs> okay well wasted enough time this episode this is gonna be the end of it we'll find we'll try and figure out what how to get some something to put in the lantern next time so that we can light it with the match and then read the map or take the map or something like that I don't know 
But thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe for more. Comments are always welcome. Have a wonderful day.